Okay, we will throw a timing light on it. Just see what I can see. Uh, I'm going to go clean up, but we'll get to it. Oh, the joy. This is basically what a timing light does. You hook a, one wire to the number one spark plug, and you hook one to the hot and the cold side of the battery. This is your timing indicator right there. And what I'm going to do is get me a piece of chalk and find, well, I'm going to mark my, my timing mark with a piece of chalk so I can see it better. I'll cut the motor off and I'll come back to that and we'll look at it. So actually, there's the timing mark. <laughs> Right there, see that little notch right here. So all I'm gonna do is just take this piece of chalk, put a little chalk mark right there. Now this is top dead center right here where the zero is. And my book will probably tell me what standard timing is. Usually it's so much, so many degrees before Top dead center, such as that. Let me get y'all something to sit on other than this. So here's what I was looking for all along. This is uh, tune-up specifications, engine tightening. See, this is the, the picture, the diagram of what we we're just looking at. And there should be a, a thing in here that says before top dead center. So we're going with a 65, 283. Let's see, this is the four barrel carburetor, 250 horse. They're all the same, four degrees before top dead center. So, four degrees. And, let's see. One, two, three, four, right in here is where I want my timing mark to be hitting at. So, we'll start it up and put the timing light on it and we'll see where she's at now. And we'll adjust as needed. The vacuum advance advances the timing when the engine is running. When I pulled off that vacuum wire and the idle didn't change, that told me that I didn't have any vacuum in that line. It works back in advance, uh, so that that could that is a contributing factor because what that does is it uh, it advances the timing uh, when you gas on it a little bit. I think that will hold right there. I'd best we put that on clips so it wouldn't move. So let's try this again. Got to keep from burning up my wires and stuff here. Give a couple of turns to the uh, idle screw. Let's start it back out. So, if I had a vacuum line that worked on this engine, I could hook the vacuum advance up. That would make it run different too. So, put this away and we'll come back and see what we can find. Sometimes you can find a little carburetor uh, thing. It'll give you some vacuum. Like this one right here that I'm trying to get the cap off of. That might be right. There's none coming out of this other side. We'll take it off and move it around to there. Thank <laughs> you. 